our people were ignorant and they were ruled by the tradition customs and where they thought that uh, they held that uh, all could kill and we tried to exploit the ignorance of our people the governor's broadcast increased african pressure for kenyatta's release when the Kenya African National Union, KANU, won the election, its leaders refused office until Kenyatta was freed. The deadlock now threatened the peaceful transfer of power that Britain wanted. So, in August 1961, Governor Renison bowed to the inevitable. Jomo Kenyatta, the man he had called the leader to darkness and death, returned home to a tumultuous welcome. After his release, Kenyatta accepted the presidency of Kanu, a party whose radical platform had included the seizure of European-owned land. The whites were horrified. Kanu was a near certainty to take over when Britain left. Kenyatta surprised everyone, white and black. To secure independence, he knew that Kenya needed stability, not a new upheaval. He overruled the radicals. He had no place for Mau Mau. He ordered the few fighters left in the forest to come out. Kenyatta gave them nothing, but greeted them as heroes. He's going to be an ordinary citizen, because all he wanted to see is an African flag flying over Kenya. That's all he was what, what are his followers going to do with their arms? Uh, their follower <laughs> and their arm will bring, they will bring their arms to me, to their government. <laughs> 